vegans strive to commit the least amount of harm possible. Yet cropland inevitably results in 7.3 billion animals killed every year. About 36% of that cropland is used to feed livestock. And only about 13% of livestock feed is fit for human consumption. That remaining majority of by kill is due to people eating plants. But animal agriculture forces 10 times more animals into existence to be slaughtered. 10 times more than all the by kill and 10 times more than there are humans. And that's an extremely low estimate. Estimates are as high as 150 billion livestock forced into existence for animal agriculture to slaughter every year. And that doesn't even include more than a trillion aquatic animals killed every year or the millions of subsidized killings in the US alone to supposedly protect livestock. And to make matters worse, animal agriculture is gravely inefficient, resulting in 99% of animal deaths while contributing less than 20% of global food intake. Many sources demonstrate this in various ways, and you might see some different numbers here and there. But at the end of the day, animal agriculture is always far less efficient and extremely more deadly. Some studies have even shown that we could replace animal products with plant products that have the same nutrient profiles and feed up to 20-fold more people. And when looking at the FAO's land usage chart, we can see just how much land animal agriculture uses and how much of the cropland goes into animal agriculture. And even if a significant portion of the cropland used for livestock feed is inedible by humans, if you take that out of the equation, the animals still need to be fed. So logically, it's still relevant and needs to be accounted for. So let's take things a little further and extrapolate from that land usage chart. Livestock uses 90% of the currently used agricultural land and produces only 12% of what we eat. Plant-based food only uses 6% of agricultural land while producing 88% of what we eat. And even if these numbers are say 10, 20% off, animal agriculture is still grossly inefficient. In other words, animal-based food requires 13 times more land while producing seven times less than plant-based foods. And livestock also consumes 37 times more than the food they produce. Only about 29% of the earth is land. And of that land, just over a third is viable for agriculture. And livestock uses 90% of that land. By ending animal agriculture, we could feed over 88 billion more people plant-based. And this projection is so modest that it's almost 10 times smaller than the number I mentioned from that research earlier, predicting a 20-fold increase. Furthermore, with increased implementation of state-of-the-art vertical greenhouse technologies, we can take things up a level exponentially two-fold every step of the way up, and the sky is the limit, and easily have more than enough to end world hunger, animal slaughter, premature deaths from behavioral diseases directly related to eating animals, and decrease significantly the odds of having another zoonotic disease outbreak pandemic while supporting longer lifespans and our infinitely ever-growing global population and fostering a non-violent world with unfettered access to our empathy and compassion for all earthlings.